You're watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. The Virginia Beach SPCA's mission is to create a more humane and responsible community by decreasing our tolerance for cruelty while increasing our capacity for compassion. And they're starting with the children. The SPCA's humane education programs teach children the need to treat all living things with kindness and compassion. These programs also help children realize that reading can be an enjoyable and worthwhile activity. That's an interesting mix, and here to tell us about these programs are Dia DeVernet and Trish Blue from the Virginia Beach SPCA. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Well, let me start off because there's been some recent leadership changes at the SPCA, so tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'm the new CEO at the SPC. I've been there for one month now, okay. and it's just been a great uh, month for me, meeting so many wonderful people, all those staff, and really dedicated volunteers. We have over 3,000 volunteers at the uh, SPCA, and Trish is our board chair, so she's kind of the leader of the pack when it comes to our volunteers. <laughs> And I've been on the board for over six years. Um, we're really excited to be able to bring Dia on board as our new CEO. We're, um, we're um, real confident that she'll be able to help grow our success. Um, we've changed a lot in the 48 years that we've been around and we'd like to continue to um, grow, being able to reach out and place more animals in their forever homes and reach out to more youth to teach them responsible pet ownership. Well, speaking of that change, I understand the SBCA's uh, philosophy is, is, you know, obviously by learning to be uh, compassionate to animals, um, but you can learn to have compassion for your fellow man by, by the way you treat animals. Talk a little bit about uh, the, this philosophy. Absolutely. Humane education is at the core of our mission for preventing cruelty and increasing compassion. And one of the ways that we do that is we partner with Virginia Beach Public Schools and we offer a compassion classroom program. We go into 66 classrooms in Virginia Beach. We reach over 4,000 kids every month. And we do an animal themed lesson uh, where they also get to interact with an animal, learn how to treat it gently, safely, humanely. And we are able to tie those lessons also to the SOL. So for example, last month we we did uh, Famous Americans and their relationships with animals and learned how Abraham Lincoln started the tradition of pardoning the turkey. Now, I read something earlier that you had these Be Wild workshops during the summer. To talk a little bit about that for some of the young folks. Yeah, um, we actually have um, a program where we um, work with volunteer wildlife rehabilitators and we bring in injured wildlife and they help rehabilitate them back to health and then replace them, place them back out into the wild. Um, we take in, we've taken in over 3,000 this past year, and what we do is we tie our workshops to those by teaching the children about wildlife, about wildlife rehabilitation, about being environmentally responsible and how that affects our everyday life. You know, many in our audience may not be familiar with the fact that you have this focus around young people, having these programs that are geared toward, uh, toward young people. Um, is that new to the SPCA's mission, or has that always been there? I mean, I, I, you talked a little bit uh, earlier before we joined the show about the Listening Ears program, for example. Talk about that and what it's doing. Yes, our, our humane education programs certainly have been growing in recent years, and Listening Ears is another great program where we go into the schools and we work with children who might be reluctant readers, have a little bit of challenge with reading, and we find that if we take an animal in, the kids have a much easier time reading to a cat or a dog than they would have reading to a teacher or a parent sometimes. It just makes them more comfortable and teaches them that reading can be a fun and enjoyable activity. Are there other programs that, uh, that are focused on, on youth? Uh, yeah, actually, um, in addition to our animal shelter, we have a, a veterinary clinic attached to our um, shelter, and um, we offer low-cost veterinary care to families that meet the income eligibility um, requirements, but we also have a Vet for a Day program where the children can come in and they learn about veterinary care while they're there. It's actually been one of our most um, popular programs. It was featured in the Huffington Post and on Good Morning America last year. Boy, you know, I, that's such an interesting program because there may be some child who may end up becoming a veterinarian because of, you mm -hmm. know, that early introduction into, the, into that as a possible, you know, career choice down the road. Um, I, you, you know, some of the other notes I have here, is, you know, the summer critter camps, the farmer for a day program, these are all just neat programs that frankly, if you think about the SPCA, you're not known for those kinds of things. So it's neat that you're doing those mm -hmm. kinds of things for youth. Are there other, other programs like that that you're, that you're focused on? 
Well, we're always growing. You mentioned the Farmer for a Day, and that's a new program that we're going to be offering this summer. We've developed it because the Vet for a Day programs fill up to capacity. Our summer critter camps fill up to capacity, so we just see there's a real interest. And uh, through that program, we'll take kids out to farms. They'll get to interact with farm animals and learn about where their food comes from and even have some fun making butter and uh, doing other fun interactive activities. You know, I have to um, ask this question because the, you have the Virginia Beach SBCA, mm -hmm. And again, traditionally, we think about that as being somewhat focused on animals and, and the like. And then you have the Virginia Beach Animal Control, uh, Animal Care and Adoption Center. So what's the difference? I mean, these are, it's not the same organization, but talk a little bit about the difference because folks listening may not know the difference. Correct. The Virginia Beach SPCA is um, a not-for-profit organization that relies on the community for their funding. So donations, we get grants from like the Hampton Roads Community Foundation. So it's all based on our local donations. So it's not a, a city run organization? No. no, and that's where the main difference lies. The Animal Control Center is funded by the city. So they're, they're not waiting for the next person to donate them $100 to be able to go buy so food. So if that's the case, there may be people listening who are seeing all these great things that you're doing uh, particularly things that are uh, impacting positively the lives of our children, how do they get involved? How can they help? Well, I'll tell you right now, spring means babies at Virginia Beach SPCA. It's kitten season, and we have an agreement with the city where we take in all the abandoned, unweaned kittens that come in, and those kittens have to be bottle fed until they're old enough so to... So volunteers to come in and help do that. Yep. So that's something that if you're... If that suits your fancy, obviously contact the SBCA. What about uh, donations? Again, this, this is not a city-run organization. Are you, do you take donations from organizations or from individuals or, or organizations in we the community? We do. You can mail us a check. You can go onto our website and, we'll and make the a website donation as well. on there as well. Um, what, what other message? I mean, we only, well, we're just about out of time, but just final word. What would you want someone to know about this organization that we haven't discussed so far? There are just so many ways to get involved, more than we've been able to mention today. Um, it's a great way to teach youth about the value of volunteering and giving back to the community. We have a really strong junior volunteer program, over 250 volunteers between the ages of 13 and 17. So please, whoever you are, come out. There's something you can do for us. Well, thank us. you both for all the great work you're doing to impact our community in a positive way. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia started in Norfolk in 1919 as a citizenship club for boys, but today it has expanded to serve over 2,600 boys and girls with 11 clubs in Hampton Roads. We'll tell you about their programs and how they are helping our children when we come back with more Cox Connections. <music>